All right, I'm going to show you a sequence of things to Dominic Lovett. And he's the, to me, he is the enigma of what we can't get involved in our passing game as well as I would like to see. And what I've noticed with him with running routes is I see at times I almost kind of think he's loafing. And it's kind of like, well, if you had this kind of scenario right here and he's on the backside, which is not going to happen as often, but if it's like he's the decoy, the push off or something to be complimentary to, I've been noticing that I don't think he's running routes very solidly and getting off the line of scrimmage on his push. And so I was at the game Saturday. I actually watched this game from a very nice bird's eye view opposite of the Jumbotron on the third deck, and I could see the field so well. And this is a play that we ran against Ohio State in the Peach Bowl where Kenny McIntosh actually catches it out of the backfield. So what you're going to get here is you're going to get him blocking you get him moved out into space coming across from A so that he can go take care of force. And what you're going to get right here is you're going to get everybody out except for your guard. Your guard is going to show a pull action to try to hold this one backer. And everybody's going to get out. And what they try to do on this jailbreak is they are trying to set a wall. So you get him blocking. He's got to take force. They wall everything off. And Dominic catches it, and he wants to run right down that wall line. But I want you to watch what Dominic does. Dominic doesn't – he's not patient enough to sit inside and take and let the wall develop. So I want you to watch this. A lot of people think, well, this is an okay play, but it could have been so much better. So we got our trips look now from Ace. We're going to get push out. You'll notice Dominic's catching. And look at the lineman out on this, all right? So you got one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to take force, all right? Now you say, well, what about this guy? Well, that's what these three guys are for. We're going to outrun him. And think about it. We got three. We got five guys to block three, all right? So all Dominic's got to do is wait and push right off the butt of his linemen that are coming right here. But instead, I know he sees this guy. But what he's got to do is he's got to trust his lineman right here and fit right off their rear end. But because he's getting chased, you think about it. Look at his separation right now. There's no way you can't tell me that he couldn't push right here, right off the butt of every one of these guys and get to the end zone. All right? That's something that drives me nuts because when this case, the jailbreak screen looks really good, but instead... I know Arian is off his block right here and the one that ends up making the tackle, but it shouldn't matter. He should be running right here off the butt of these four uh, guys right here, Delft and the three linemen, and taking it to the house. But instead, because he gets spooked right here, he sends back inside. Arian, you know, of course, doesn't stay on his block very well, and he gets tackled right there. But, you know, it's a gain of four or five. It could have been a lot better, but it's a play that we have executed very well, but the person with the football doesn't do what it's designed to do, which is to go back up inside. So I'm going to let you watch this right here at full speed. This is basically jailbreak left to the number two receiver. We're going to show the G pull. He fit right there. That's all he's got to do. You know, a lot of people say we're not getting our run game established the way they are, but I don't think we really have to because we got about six guys that can catch the ball out here in space. What we're going to do is we're going to end up getting Ace Lucy, and we're going to motion Liz across basically to a full Lucy trip set where we have an H off, and we're going to run our fast screen out here. We're now – this is where we're going to take care of the front block. He's probably going to push more than likely to this guy – and make it go one-on-one -on -one with him, okay? Now, let's see if we get people out here on the actual play with it. We're going to run zone action. Looks like we're probably going to run power away. Like we're running power away. Nope, we look like we're running zone away. So no no ghost action here with our guard and our uh, H back. We're just showing zone, and it's just fast screen. So what we're actually going to do here is instead of going to block this guy, London is going to go get this guy instead. So what he's trying to do is get off of this, and he's going to have to beat this guy. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I would always want to block inside force, and you go one-on-one -on, -one on the outside with a corner right here. But again, this is just like a run. London, get run over slowly, make the first guy miss, make the second guy make a tackle, and now you're falling down for about a three-yard gain. It's no different than we running the football right there for a three-yard gain, but we're putting the ball into playmaker's hands. So this would be leopard, which is fast screen off the zone action. So we're just showing zone right action right here. Throw the ball to the fast screen leopard, make one guy miss, three-yard gain. You can call me crazy all you want to, but we're in a trips bunch set. This will be early type bunch. What we're going to get is a vertical. You're going to get kind of a wheel route push off of this, and you're going to get a intermediate out route off of this. 
Delp actually moves for the ball snap. Can't believe we didn't get a procedure call. He's going to stay in. We get six-man protection. They're going to bring four guys. They're going to drop seven into coverage. And we're going to throw it to Dominic Lovett right here. And I want you to watch him off the line of scrimmage. And Guys, I watched him a lot. And I, I lost a lot of plays because I wanted to see if I was really making this up that Dominic Lovett loafs off the line of scrimmage. If he runs full speed and cuts into this the way he should, Carson delivers a great football right here that he should still have caught. But because he loafs off the line of screen, look at that. I mean, he's not running full speed. And that ball is thrown in a perfect spot. But because his break is late, because of the timing of that issue, we've got you know an incomplete pass that he should have caught right here. But I want you just to watch it again. I know without a shadow of a doubt, this is not full speed from Dominic Lovett off the line of scrimmage. Watch it. Guys, that is a loaf all day long. And that's something that drives me nuts because I want to count on this guy. Heck, I was thinking he was going to be our next 1,000-yard receiver. What I see right here is a guy hasn't touched the ball very much today, probably feeling a little sorry for himself right now. It is a tight ball game in the third quarter by 10 points, and we're looking to try to apex you to throw the football to you right now, and you're loafing your ass off the line of scrimmage like this right here. Carson Beck delivers a great football, and you make him look bad because you're not running full break. Now, guys, watching this play in real time, I thought this was all Carson Beck, but this is another play where Dominic screws the pooch and hurts Carson Beck on this throw. Now, we've been running all sorts of fast screens out here. Jail breaks fast, missile screens. Been running a bunch of different kinds. What we're going to bring is Jurisek back here in motion. What we're going to look like we're doing is running the fast, which is the leopard action off of this to throw here. And we're going to fox off of this because what we're looking at is to see if we can fox both of these guys, where you basically throw it in front of this guy. So he actually sets back off of this. He doesn't come up on the fast screen. So, you know, it'd been nice. We, you know, could have thrown it there to Dylan Bell, honestly. But bringing him over, he's coming out to look like he's blocking here. He looks like he's running fast screen. And typically, he would block here. Now, sometimes they could switch this up. But because of him coming out right here, this would be his block. This would be his block if he caught it on fast. But because we're running the fox off of this, we're actually running it to the number two receiver. So what happens is, is he thinks it's fast. He comes up here. And we should be looking for the football right here, which is what Carson Beck thinks that Dominic's thinking. We want to throw it right behind that second level defender right there. Catch it right here. Put a move on this guy one way or the other and try to get to the house. But because Dominic's not on the same page right here, and I don't know how much they've worked this. You know, it could be a chemistry issue that didn't work it enough because he looks clueless right here. We're running everything the way we want to. We've got everything set up. The fast screen concept here. The like we're running zone right. There's the pump fakes. I know that tells me we're running Fox. He's sitting over the top of this. So now he should be clearing and catching it right there. His eyes should be around right now. And Carson's thinking, what in the hell, dude? You need to be turning around right now. So Carson throws it to where Dominic should be looking to catch the football right now. Dominic thinks for some odd reason he's going to beat this guy deep. He's got to catch it in front of that defender, not behind that defender. And Carson's already let the ball go. He still thinks he's got a deep route on this right here. You th look at the space that he could have caught this ball if he's just looking as he passes that defender. But unfortunately, he's not thinking that. And I don't know. That could be a chemistry issue. It could be a screw-up on, on Dominic's part, or they didn't run it enough to see in this kind of formation set of this defensive scheme. But this is just Dominic Lovett needing to turn and get his head now. Catch the ball now, right here. And then he's turning upfield, and he's got a big play. But again, that's not Carson Beck's fault. That's all six's fault.